afternoon Thursday 11th of June now this is our little project for today we've just been to Dundonald Nurseries and we want to put in planters along this wall and grow up Virginia creeper and honeysuckle so this is the wall and it's blank a blank canvas Need, need to move this uh, this rough planter along a bit. I got this, it was going to be thrown out for nothing. And it's got sweet pea and wildflowers in it. But it needs to be moved along and I need to centralise two planters that we've just bought. And stick them in here. And this is one of the planters here. Bought this for 35 quid. And the first thing I had to do with it, obviously, substantial and a sustained planter. I bought this uh, in North Belfast off, off a boy who makes these. Um, and the first thing I had to do was to drill holes in it. And the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to line it. I've got good a good uh, roll of plastic liner here which I'll cut to size and stick in and punch holes where the drain holes are and these are uh, our Virginia creeper red wall plants that we got from Dundonald Nurseries this morning as well and this is the trellis willow trellis in behind so, couldn't uh, get hold of uh, honeysuckle, we wanted honeysuckle plants as well, but couldn't get hold of them just today, so we'll uh, check them out later. So you can see what I've done here, I've stapled um, this plastic down at the bottom, six staples at the bottom. And a few staples along the top, a few staples along the top, and I'll cut all this plastic away, neaten it out, and then I'll cut around the edges of the uh, container because I don't want plastic showing over the edges. So, this is the first planter lined. It's a bit rough, but it's going to be covered with soil and we made sure to punch through with a screwdriver the holes for drainage underneath. Okay, so the next stage for this, this planter is to fill it with soil. So planter number two covered with plastic, push the plastic on down in. The whole idea of uh, putting plastic lining inside the uh, planter is to protect uh, the wood and preserve the wood for as long as possible because uh, wood, soil and uh, water is going to uh, attack, well, wood, soil and planter are not a good mix. The soil and the the water will uh, wreck the wood eventually, destroy the wood over a period of time. So you put the the uh, plastic down as a preventative me measure. So there's all that stapled into place, and I've been using the stapler opened out like that there and pressing in, using it like a gun, haven't got a stable gun. Okay, so all you need to do now is cut the plastic uh, off the, the top edges of this, like the one I prepared earlier in true Blue Peter style. Right, the planters are reasonably central there between the two uh, splits in the concrete. So there was one line 
and there was the other lane. I want to hopefully cover up this wall. So I've got the uh, planters in position. They're lined. There's holes in the base of them to let drainage. And all we need now is to fill them with soil. But we need a trellis up the back of them. So one trellis coming up. So there we have it. Soil in, plants in, trellis up. And hopefully these will be healthy plants. Virginia creeper. And it's, it'll make our wall red. Apparently they cling to the wall themselves. I can't pronounce that, those two big long names. So it's red wall trucky, whatever that is. And I have all the wee ties off them and I've tied them into the uh, the trellis to give them a start. The trellis is reasonably well up because, you know, I had to be careful with it because there's, there's a power of wind here in the winter time. Um, take that off that wall very, very handy. So we hope to get another two planters for over here and stick a couple of uh, honeysuckle in them maybe. So we'll see how that goes.